it's absolutely incredible how much of a bond you can form with people you didn't know at the beginning of the season. A hundred days gives you a new family and that's something absolutely astonishing that I never believed I would have. that have been in with us since December when we started talking about rebranding the band and we're going to reinvent the Brentwood band again. And I told you it's a process, it's not instantaneous, right? Marching band does not happen instantly. Most of the really good things in life don't. Most of them you have to work to get there. Band camp was really hard. I don't think I expected it to be as hard as it was. I think mostly because of the temperature. It's like, now you'll think it's a hot day and you'll think back on band camp and you're like, how did I even survive that? It was kind of fun because it was their first time actually being around like other people who you're gonna be spending the rest of the season with. Food was really good and that like made it worth it. <laughs> Band camp is, is long, hot, sweaty, but it's worth it. It's, it's hard work that at the time you don't see what it is or why it matters, but when you look back at the end of the season, you realize that band camp was the most instrumental part of everything you did. Band camp is like learning the basics. There's a lot of repetitive things. There's a lot of hard times. That most of the years it's really hot. The last couple years we've been lucky with it not being too hot, but it's usually really hot and it's just like a giant bonding moment in a way because every you know everyone in there is going through the same hard things and you have to keep pushing and keep working through. Dean told me that he wanted to do something special for me because I was the only one who made it all four years. He gave me a hint and he told me it was an, an old character reimagined. And so I texted Dean and I was like, White Rabbit, are we doing Alice in Wonderland? And he texted back, I don't know, are we Alice? It was a really special thing. When I was presented with the role of the Red Queen, I, and I truly figured out what I was going to have to do. First, I was very overwhelmed when I started getting the work and actually buying into the character and the position that I had. I thought I couldn't do it. I had to work a lot harder than I was expecting to achieve what they wanted and what I wanted as well. I think, despite what Mr. Box might say, the championship band really comes from the way we interact with each other and not necessarily the way we perform on the field or how hard we try during practice, but how we feel with each other. And so if we have a band that's really tight, a band that's really close, a band that's a family like we are, it really gives us that drive to be working for each other, not to let each other down, to build each other up all the time. My band family is just like my home away from home. It's a safety net and I always feel comfortable and I can always be myself there. It's just one thing that I will miss the most because there's people there that mean so much to me and I've gotten to know over however long we've had, whether it's four years or one year. There's people there that I will know for the rest of my life because of what we've gone through together. My job is to tell you how to make yourself better and you have to have the inspiration from within. Intrinsically motivated. We're motivated by being great, not by the fact that we don't want to be bad, not by the fact that we don't want to embarrass ourselves in front of an audience. We're motivated by the fact that we want to be our very best. 
because that's going to pay off for you later. That's what man teaches you. It doesn't teach the one to play. But it teaches you how to be a better person. That's what we're all about. Let's reset that at least. I've been in a lot of bands, you know, like Mid-State and Honor Band, stuff like that, and none of these bands care as much and put as much work into it as our marching band does. Um, you know, we've got some of the hardest working kids out on that, on that field, and it's just, it's great working with them. Well, every competition, it's, it was different this year in a lot of ways. There wasn't as much anxiety, I think, because we were so ahead of the game. And that's really nice, because normally during a competition, we're all really anxious and we get really nervous. And it's, it's really different than practice. Like, practice is so intense. We get to competitions and we actually get to have fun. To me, a competition is just like any practice until we get to that moment when you realize, you know, you're playing for, you know, a thousand people, whatever. Um, to me, it's just like practice. I mean, everybody's, everyone's cheerful on the bus right over. We have a lot of fun just like playing games on the bus and like just chilling out until we get our uh, uniforms on. Then we're, then we're ready. It's all business for the next, you know, hour or so. Competitions are definitely my favorite. There's, there's the anticipation in getting there, like the rehearsal before where morale is high and everyone's just really geared up for it and you know there's a drive to get stuff done. And then the trip there, you're kind of you're bouncing around in your seat, you're giddy with anticipation of being able to prove what you can do. And when you get there, it's, everything changes and you become, you become one of a group. You're part of something bigger. And that just snaps into place the second you step off that bus in your uniform. You're one and done. You have 10 minutes to prove everything you've done up to that point. And if you can do that, that's, that's what you're in for. You're showing growth, you're showing that you can make something bigger than you. You can't go through these hundred days and not be changed. Even if you're a senior, you got to be able to look back and go, yeah, I'm not the same person I was just 15 weeks ago. It's going to be a great day to finish a fantastic season for the uh, Brentwood Band 5.0. Last year when we said we're going to reinvent, we went to band 5.0, it's been a good change. So let's make today super positive. Congratulations for breaking your own record for this contest. Out of 40 points, for ensemble music performance, 
you only received 39.9. <laughs> I've never been more proud. It may have been just as, but never more than what you have accomplished this year. The challenges that you had to overcome, the things that you had to do to bring this to life, and the willingness that you had in it was an attitude that we had not seen. The circle time at the end of the year, it was a very reflective moment. No senior ever wants to step out of that circle. Um, I, I didn't want to step out of that circle, but everybody has their time. And so that, that emotionally charges the scene. And when Mr. Box circled us up and he said, now juniors, listen up, because this the stuff I'm saying right now is what you guys want to hear next year when this time comes around. Uh, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know what to think. I, I was just ecstatic because that, that's all you ever want to hear. Going through four years of marching band, that's all you ever want to hear, that final circle. You want to know that your contribution and your legacy is exactly as you planned it to be. I would say even more important than that is the individual people that you touch that affect you, that you affect in this band. When he turned us around and you look out and you see all the eyes of all the freshmen, all the sophomores, all the juniors, all the future upperclassmen, you know, the, the leaders of this band who are going to take it to the great heights that we all know they can do, um, you see in their eyes what you've done to help them. And high school's not easy. And so when you look out there and you see that these people have been helped by you, that you've led them in the right direction and that they've appreciated it and they, <laughs> you, see, you see the love in their eyes. That's just, that's, it's breathtaking and it's, it's heart-wrenching, it's amazing. You, you can't ask for a better feeling when you know that you've changed someone's life in this short amount of time. Finally getting to be in the inner circle and looking around at everybody. And when I finally turned around and saw what I was leaving. Like when you're a freshman, you never think that it's gonna be over. And then you get to the final circle and you turn around. And then it's just gone. <laughs> Being in band has probably made me the person that I am today, and without it, I wouldn't be where I am. Being in band has taught me to never give up. And you always get something in the end with hard work whether it's winning or just friendship. I've done this thing since sophomore year when I started conducting is, I don't, I don't know if they notice it at all, but I'll go through and I make eye contact. Like I look at them until they look back at me. I make eye contact around the circle with every one of them. It hit me, the feeling in the moment, I was like, it's not about us. It's not about the individual person. It's about what we can make together. It's like you look at the kid who's he's finally found his first group of friends. You look at the girl who just wants someone to love her. You look at the boy who is silent except when he's playing and making something so loud. And you just look at all these people coming together to create something so beautiful. You can't hear a piece of music and say, oh, that kid doesn't have a good home life. Oh, that girl doesn't have confidence. You just hear the music for what it is.
everything I am is because of this band. And I know that sounds like a lot, but that it's true. High school is when you become who you're gonna be before you go off to college, and it's your foundation for the rest of your life. And um, they, the, these people, band, Mr. Box, Mr. O'Keefe, my friends, my family, they have really made me who I am. But the biggest thing that band has done for me is it's taught me how to love people. And I'm, I'm not talking like romantically, but I'm, I'm talking day to day, showing people that they're cared for, showing people that they are loved and making people feel special. That's what marching band specifically has taught me to do, that every single little thing you say, every single little thing that you do affects someone's day and potentially affects the rest of their life. So band has taught me to take those little moments and to treat them with care and to um, put an emphasis on the little things because that's what matters and showing people that you love them in everything you do can change someone's life.